Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you how to use Google Earth. And so, once you get Google Earth opened up, uh, usually you'll come to a, a, a point where it looks like this, and you can get started. Now, in our class, since we're working on latitude and longitude, you're going to want to have those lines on there. They don't come on there on default, uh, so you're going to have to put it on there. To do that, all you have to do is click Control L. They're going to pop on there. Now, they're not going to have every single line on there like you would on a map. It's not going to have, uh, as you can see, 70 west isn't there for the line of longitude. Uh, but if you zoom in, it'll add them as we go. and It'll pop up different ones. So it just depends on what they look like when they zoom. Now, a few different things about manipulating this. Uh, with our touchscreen computers, it doesn't really work that well. It wasn't designed for a touch interface, and so uh, don't expect it to feel really great using the touchscreen. So you might want to use your touchpad and or uh, get a mouse of some sort. So let's take a look at some of the tools that are on here. Up here in the top right-hand corner, um, there's a, uh, a wheel at the top where it will situate the earth um, north, south, east, or west, and it'll, you can turn it all the way upside down as it just showed you. Um, one nice thing is if you ever you start rotating and things get crazy like this and you don't know which way is up anymore, all you have to do is click north and it will uh, situate it back the way it should be. Um, and you can pull up and just keep on clicking north and it will reset it. So it's kind of handy. Um, you can also tilt and move. Uh, your view with the same wheel uh, and resituate it as well. Um, you can also, if you don't like to use the mouse and actually drag it like this, I, I, I like it that way, but if you don't, you can also slowly, um, just by using these, do the same thing. Uh, as you can see, kind of that the hand grab there, you can kind of see it has the same, the same uh, effect. Now, when it comes to zooming in, especially on the touch screen, it is, you, can, you can double tap to get it to zoom. But if you wanted to do uh, a very controlled zoom, you will want to use your, uh, either your mouse or your trackpad uh, to move, zoom in. In this case, it's zooming down to Lome, Togo in Africa. Or you can zoom out. If you notice there, the closer you zoom in, you can actually start to go to uh, street view in cer certain places. Now, not everywhere has street view. Um, we'll see if Lome does. Probably not here. There's probably not a lot here out in the desert outside of Lome. And so we're going to exit ground view. You can see that it popped up there at the top. And there's a uh, in the distance there. There's a building that they actually have uh, here in street view, which is getting more common. Uh, you can zoom out, or you can uh, very slowly, or you can pull it. Uh, and go a little bit quicker. You can see the picture tilts back to what you would want it to do. As you can see, it tilted back where the south is on the top, and so if you want it back, all you have to do is hit the N once again.